Another challenger has been ages. Perhaps you've forgotten how this game is played. Allow me to remind you. Play the squirrel card. You are lacking sacrifices for that creature. You are lacking sacrifices for that stoat if you do have a squirrel. To play the wolf you'll need to sacrifice. The wolf demands more blood than your creatures to sacrifice. <laughs> the wolf costs two, that means sacrifice two creatures. Now play your stoat. How? Shouldn't it be this? How? Oh. Could've told me I have to press W to fucking W A S and D to fucking get anywhere. I don't Normal death plays a stoat. Trying to? Okay. Wolves require two sacrifices. You don't have enough. Ring the bell to end your turn and commence combat. The stoat stands unopposed. So I win? The number on the bottom left is its attack power. You'll still dealt me one damage. I added it to the scale. If you win, uh, you win if you tip my side all the way down. Like this. Sure, it's your turn. You'll still stand in the way of my coyote. My coyote deals two damage, you'll stout. You'll stout. That means your stoat health is less, is too less, even. If a creature's health reaches zero, it dies. It's your turn again. You may draw from your deck, or you may draw a squirrel. What is this? How reckless of you. You are beginning... Wait, because you are learning, I will pass. You've drawn all the creatures from your deck. A squirrel is your only choice. Well, he's going to die anyway, so... Finn, all the beasts are sacrificed, but not removed from your deck. Its suffering was real, but you will see it again. Free damage dealt. Free weights on the scale. Pa. Squirrels can't attack. How unfortunate. You've won this match. They won't all be so easy. Let me recall your story. Oh yes. You were lost deep in the forest. A single path revealed itself. Two denizens of the forest approached you tentatively. The caustic adder. Damage from its poison bite is always lethal. The undying cat. 
Sacrificing the poor beast does not kill it. Only one may grace your poultry deck. Another creature joins your caravan. Some of the creatures of the forest seemed willing to follow you. You came across an abandoned sack. You found a squirrel in a bottle. Break. In case of emergency. And have a second. Another useful implement. I'll allow you to tip the scales of it. Free is as much as you can carry. You were ambushed while crossing some rough terrain. You sacrificed me! Oh, are you sleeping? It was the right play. I get it. Maybe. You'll help me. Take your turn. Play along for now. You may now see my moves ahead of time. kill my sacrifices. Here we go. A well earned point of damage. I did not imagine that was how we were going to do it. Oh dear. I didn't think you would really do it. Oh, I see. Mind the ambitious wolf cub. It ages swiftly. The airborne bat flies over creatures to attack directly. Ha! My bat flew right over your stout. Hmm. 
I never wolf cub. You prevailed and trekked onwards past the now bloody terrain. The young wolf cub. It grows into a wolf after a single turn. The mixed sparrow. An inexpensive, if feeble, flying creature. I'll take the sparrow, so if I get that. I get blocked again, I can then uh, do some damage. You stumbled into some strange stones in the midst. You were compelled to choose a worry, oh, choose a worthy sacrifice, one that will be lost forever. Let's go the sparrow. I don't know what that symbol for the cat is, but it's a sacrifice for for one sacrifice. So I think I'll get rid of the cat. You looked upon your menagerie and selected a healthy host. Oh, wait, what does this do? Empowers them? A ghastly spectacle, but the soul of the cat now lives in the sparrow. What does that mean? Behold my totem! It inscribes my canine card with the airborne sigil. Oh, great. He's completely insane! You see that, right? No care for the rules. Pathetic, really. Enough. I hope it keeps me around to watch me suffer. Back on the board. My totem has granted my coyote the power of flight. I don't see how I can win. Like, he, he's already won. So yeah, he's a bit cheating. You've lost. Using this as a learning opportunity may be the only way to mitigate my disappointment. Get up. Get up from the table. Fetch me the candlestick from the top of the barrel beside the door. Bring it here. I don't want to see your face. Ugh. Mm. 
Now sit back down. Let me explain something to you. That was one of the two mistakes you can make here. If you make another, I must sacrifice you. Now, where were we? The proud wolf, a vicious contender. Wait, what's up the tooth? Okay, fine, I'll take that one. Okay, let's go try out where the campfire is. You come across a small group of survivors. Faces shrunken from starvation. They huddled around a campfire. They looked upon your group of creatures and beckoned. Come warm one of your creatures by the fire, one said. Warm it by the fire, that we will enhance its power, said another. You notice as well as the survivors wiping drool from their mouth. They're going to try and eat one of my creatures. I mean, I have more wolves than anything else. I need... I need, like, one sacrifices to be able to do anything. The fire warmed the poor wolf, enhancing its power. One of the survivors reached towards it. Another gnashed their teeth. Without a word, he pulled the wolf away from the fire and left. Oh, phew, I thought it was going to get eaten. <laughs> There's a way out for both of us. It's somewhere in this foul cabin. Be silent or I will tear you to shreds. Wait, what is this? Grandfur. Stops flying, creatures. <laughs> this spot? You sure? Yeah, because that crazy will mash you up. Take out that bear, but I don't think we have enough. You're gonna die in one here. Well, it looks like I'm being sacrificed. <laughs> Alas, it is time for you to perish. You aren't dead yet. This isn't purgatory. Though you may think of it that way. Before you expire, I must ask you a favor. I would like a memento. 
your very own death card. It's quite plain at the moment, isn't it? We will work together to amend that. I want this to be the perfect memento of you. Here are some cards from your mediocre deck. We can put them to good use. Please choose a card to draw the to draw the cost from. A cost of two blood from the wolf. Damn, I wanted the power from the other thing. Damn it. This I will use as power and health the numbers. I guess he said and I didn't pay attention. So I'll fly, okay. Oh many lives are oh. oh and flying, yeah. I never did ask your name. There is now but one final matter. The portrait. Are you ready? You do not need to smile. Here we go again. Another challenger. Perhaps it is time. Perhaps you can understand bones. The resourceful opossum costs two bones. You gain a bone when one of your creatures perishes for any reason. From the death of your creature you've gained a bone. You will not lose this until it is spent. Or the battle ends. How brutal of you. You dealt me more damage than you needed to win. However, in my game, such feats are rewarded. To be precise, a tooth to keep each extra damage dealt. The trapper may be interested in your spoils. Oh. I forgot your figurine. Get up and fetch it for me. It's besides the safe.
Well, there's so many things to keep track of. Oh. Damn, so much. Huh. Okay, okay, okay. Oh, many lives? My guy brings to sacrifice, it does not perish. I drag this out. What is it? Whoops. Does it fit? Oh, this is all kinds of mysteries. Black goat. Were free sacrifices? So this is a safe. That's how wolfing is he was messing with. Okay, that's a weird globe. It's hardly anything there. Can't grab that. Can't open this. Smoke's now attracted into the into the thing. You can't use that right now. There's only there's only what? I'll let you use that, but not now. Why don't I fuck up to him? Poke him in the eyes. Right. Is there any in this? There's a hand. Hmm. 
I don't see numbers anywhere. Let us continue. Amiga Coyote, but what did you expect from the four bones? A nefarious rattler, a brutal creature, but creature once passed its monstrous fangs. Six bones. A killable cockroach it returns to your hand after dying. Four bones, though. Yeah, okay, sure, we'll take cockroach. You know, you're free to get up in again. To keep your blood flowing. I'm no tyrant. May stand whenever the map is unrolled. It allows me time to plan your next encounter. But do keep your hands off my possessions. Also seems to have changed. Oh, the hand's gone. Rock may get you out of a hard place. True. Feeling overburdened enough with a full three items you carried on. <laughs> Are you smart? Usually doesn't. What? Bother teaching about bones. Alright, here's a tip. I saw a past victim writing a passcode in the rule book. Oh, really? Two fly things, hmm? Thank mm -hmm. you. 
Oh, okay. Uh, a wolf. Take a squirrel. I see the way this is going. I need four. I concede. You may accept my surrender, or you may finish this match the slow way. Two seven three. Stink bug. Oh, hello. I wasn't sure if I would ever escape that iron crypt. Is is the stoat around? The stunted wolf? This madness must end. Put that away. What is this? Wait. The three are in the right place. I forgot that I had put that there. Very well, you may add it to your deck. I'll deal you one every so often. Hey, so that one's just locked in. Formidable creatures, those ants. Very well, I will add them to your deck and make them available for future challenges. on here oh 
Oh, that's the one I just saw. Okay. The ordinary porcupine, sharp quills will eat those who dare attack it. Bleeding yields free blood if you ignore the bleeding. A gust from this may lift your creatures into the air, if only for a turn. Oh, what is this thing? Hello. <laughs> you again? Indeed, our friend freed me. Well, I basically told them how to do it. You got a plan? We have another friend here. You've got to be. I wouldn't call him a friend. But I suppose we are in deep this time. Total misplay. How is it? Well, I guess we'll find out. Oh, he only has one attack. Yeah, okay. Not good. Oh. How disappointing. Oh, bear trap. You were stopped along the way by a trapper looking to liquidate his pelts. There was something uncanny about his appearance, but you were quickly distracted by his wares. Care to look at my pouts? Take a pout free of charge. See the quality? You're leaving already! Please consider my pouts. Uh. Take a gold one. I need more teeth for that one. Teeth. Oh my god. Fine. I'll take a power. I don't really do though. What do you mean? I only have one then? Thanks for your business. The man assured you of the value of the pouts. They appear to be useless in a fight. But he mentioned the trader further down the path would reward you for them. Not another totem. Let's avoid it. Choice is yours. So I can make a sacrifice.
Oh, that's pretty decent. I'll get rid of the bullfrog. <laughs> yeah, you know what? I will empower you. What an honor. <laughs> So strange. Why can't I remember his name? I believe I lost some of my memory in the flash. Look, there's a third talking card somewhere around here. Personally, I hate the guy. Biggest killjoy ever. But he's the only one of us with a plan to get things back to normal. Oh, I need to draw a card, okay. Take a boulder. But I'm stinky. Oh, I need to draw another one. You surrender?
Oh, okay. Didn't work quite as I had thought. Actually... Yeah, let's go for that. Hey, I have a bunch of gold teeth to go with it. You must make a different kind of choice now. Choose not a specific beast, but decide the cost that you wish to pay. I guess. Yep, yeah, okay. Go bullfrog. A random card with a cost of one. What were you expecting? A group of starving survivors stood around a dying campfire. So is this the same as last time? They're going to enhance his power? Sure. Okay. <laughs> Power of the stoat is enhanced by their warmth. As one of the survivors be began pulling a knife from their pocket, you withdrew. The trees seemed to close in around you as a chill mist descended. In the distance you could hear the clinking of metal on stone. A hobbled figure stood in your path. It was the Prospector. Pack mule and a coyote. It's hard to call it cowardly. I hope you didn't think it'd be that easy. That's coal. There's gold in them, them cards. Them their cards. What? What? Good gold. I've struck gold. Uh, what the hell do I do now? <laughs> okay. No lacking sacrifices, your gold nugget can't be sacrificed. One card per turn, don't be greedy.
Like, what am I supposed to be doing? How am I supposed to get past this? Like, I've already lost. Gold for me. Stay there, no need to move. I'm afraid you are not dead yet. Hold still. Might I put that camera of mine? Pathetic! Do you really think I'd leave film in there? Do you have any idea what that camera is capable of? Give me that. So is that the plan? We have a memento to create. Behold your death card. Shall we begin to ink it? Cost. No cost. A cost of three from the rabbit pelt. And another. This time I shall use its power and health. Free power and two health from the wolf. Now choose a card from which we will extract the sigils. Yeah, one that never ends. A sigil of unkillable from the cockroach. Never did ask your name. One thing now remains. I must capture your visage. Say cheese. Another challenger. Did I tell you the tale of the one who came back before you? They fell to a mad prospector. Nothing comes between that man and his gold. Seems a lowly stink bug has made its way in. But it is down, so it stands. No, you may not choose a specific beast. Instead, you must now decide on a tribe that you prefer. So ants? Wolf? Deer? I do have the ant queen, so maybe I should get an ant. Ah, the del diligent ant. Its strength is proportionate to the size of its colony. A randomly chosen insect card. Did you wish for something else? An ancient woman emerged from behind an oak tree. She carefully laid out intricate wood carvings and gestured at them brusquely. Choose. I will need for the lives, I think. You accepted the woodcarver's offering. It is useless without its second half. But you intuited that this would not be the last encounter with her. Oh no, totem.
So does my stout give its power? No. Well, that was strange. So, we don't need attack here, I think. Oh, I can play you. The wolf. Free damage, okay. It's another beast tribe. Let's go for wolves. Okay, there we go. And the carver. The old wood carver again appeared before you. Yeah, we'll go for the wolf. The old woman bared her teeth in satisfaction. Your first totem was complete. The many lives sigil will now be marked upon all your canine creatures. So what does many lives mean? Does not perish, okay. Water. Ah, you need to die. Ah, so is that yours open for? I think we're in trouble now. I hoped for more. Me too. Looks like the owl could move after attacking. As the ancient woman creed and groaned as she approached. With a gently shaking hand, she placed her offerings before you. The 
flying wolves. The woman collected her pieces and shuffled mm -hmm. off into the darkness. I'll take bones. The inevitable maggot they will lurch forth from your hand when your creatures are killed. The decrepit woodcarver appeared before you. She moved with a certain vigour in spite of her considerable age. Uh, let's take the ants. Oh, I guess I can only have one. You hunched down to place her offering in your pack. When you looked up again, the ancient wound had vanished. Incessant clank, clank, clanking reverberated between your ears. The path ahead was blocked by a grotesque figure. The Prospector. and death no matter what. A 
Okay. He's gonna turn my ants into gold now. Such tax. He just keep his shit. Oh no, he does replace us, okay. Could be worse. I was hoping that that would not happen. Ah oh, yes. healing the mule's key oh is it Have it, my mule. Oh, I need to draw a card. What is this strange feeling? Hey there, card gamers. I'm
Nice, it comes out October 19th. This was really good. This is really good. This is a lot of fun. <laughs> 